barriers to communication. It's important to know what could lead to ineffective communication. Communication is a means of self-expression. It's a process of transfer of ideas and expression from one person to another and the whole idea is that it is given with a purpose and the other person must understand the purpose of this person's communication. But there could be umpteen reasons which we will see which can lead to the other person not really understanding the purpose of this communication. And some of these reasons are semantic barriers which is to do with words meaning organizational barriers the type of organization the structure the culture interpersonal barriers relationship between the two communicating individual barriers as a person I may have some problems cross-cultural barriers when two countries talk and cultures are different physical barriers channel and media barriers, what kind of physical media that we are using, technological barriers, so we will see each one of them, semantic bar barriers, various type of semantic gaps found in day to day use of people are as follows, words having similar pronunciation but multiple meaning, we might say accept but may want to say accept, then it may be miss understood. Badly expressed message, not well written and hence it does not convey. Wrong interpretation, what you wanted to say was not the way it was understood. Unqualified assumptions, so when the message was passed there were some unqualified assumptions made by the person who was hearing it, hence assumptions were not clear technical language, too much of technicalities to a person who does not understand technical language then the message will not go through at all. We have seen some heavy, I mean I am sure you have gone through this, some heavy presentations made by highly technically well known people but since the presentation was not made for the audience, you know the level, it just goes past and no communication actually happens, a person does not understand what is being said organizational barriers, the organization culture and climate, if it is not, if it does not support open communication then chances are that there is no free flow of good communication happening, in fact the seniors will never get to know what is happening way below. Organization rules and regulations, there have to be certain policies and rules but not so strict that nobody can talk to each other and communication is not free flow. Status relationships where the senior most person cannot be accessed, nobody can approach such people, so this can lead to a lot of communication hindrance. Complexity in organization structure, a very you know top down kind of structure, the communication channel becomes very difficult and even the message can get very diffused. A flat kind of organization structure helps in having good communication. Inadequate facilities and opportunity, there is no ways of communication, may not be having enough you know intranets not there or notice boards not there or there are no proper channels. Lack of cooperation between superior and subordinate, it can lead to a whole lot of communication problems interpersonal barriers, superior and subordinate, if the equation is not good, if the understanding is not proper, very often whatever the superior says is not taken well by the subordinate at all, he may disobey, he may not take it in the right spirit, he may not even want to understand what he is trying to say. So there are two types of superior subordinate barriers which emanate from superiors and subordinates barriers emanating from superiors and barriers emanating from subordinates, we will see both. The barriers emanating from superiors 
shortage of time for employees, not willing to listen, lack of trust, I do not trust my juniors, lack of consideration for employees needs, I just make people want to stay back without realizing that they need to go back, wish to capture authority, hence I am not willing to listen to you, you just listen to me, fear of losing power of control, bypassing, if there is a, you know hierarchy there, bypassing the person and going to the juniors, information overload, Some, sometimes it is too much of information, the other person is not able to handle. Barriers emanating for subordinates, lack of proper channel, how do I get to my superior? No interest to communicate, very demotivated, lack of cooperation, all this is part of demotivation, lack of trust, if I say something, anything can happen to me, poor relationship between superior and subordinate, that must be the cause, fear of penalty, that I may be punished if I say something. Individual or psychosociological barriers in which we have style, linguistic accent, even within India different places may have different linguistic accent, some roll their R's more, some have you know, they may not differentiate between A and O, various the form of expression, idiom, how they use it, the level of drama, types of humor, the choice of brevity, some may have very lengthy lengthy styles of talking or writing and some may be using you know brevity, brevity acts as a plus but it should be able to convey what it has to convey, the choice of discriminatory or non-discriminatory communication modes the qualities of credibility and charisma plays a role, selective perception, only listening to what I want to listen, halo effect, when you are in awe or when you do not like a person, status relationship, boss and subordinate again or very senior person, poor attention and retention, not a good listener inattention, undue importance of written words, sometimes you read too much into something, defensiveness, when we are not sure we tend to be very defensive, closed mind, now these are all reactions to some other problems with the relationship, state of health, has a headache or not okay, fever, or even a ear problem, filtering, again only listening to what you want to listen, cross, cross cultural or geographical barriers, culture is so much a part of an individual's manner of talking, behaving, thinking, each country has a different culture, so it plays a very big role, if you have to speak in China it has to be Mandarin. Japan is to be Japanese and hence of, when we want to talk fluently it becomes an issue, we need an interpreter and hence communication happens through a channel, so that leads to a lot of shall we say you know diffusion of what we want to convey. Secondly, it could also be the relationship that we have with this country, Pakistan, India, I may not want to listen or I may, listen, I may be listening too much, physical barriers, noise, I can't hear because of the noise, the environment, the temperature, lighting, if it is too cold, we are so worried about the chill that we do not want to listen, defects in the medium, mic not proper, the TV not showing up properly, computer not working the way it should, could be various reasons. Technical aspects in communication barriers, communication usually fails, Murphy's law not necessary, it is well planned and if things 
you know are well tried before if the message can be understood it will be understood so it has to be written that way filtering happens meta communication reading too much from a communication noise in the communication process maybe because of line problem signal problem it could be umpteen other things how do we overcome the barriers in communication if communication is so important in business it's extremely important that these barriers are also well taken care of and it's not a small process one fostering good relationships having a good relationship with all in the organization superior subordinate coworkers peers purposeful and well focused communication the person is always respected if the communication delivers what is supposed to deliver it's well focused is not wasting anybody's time coordination between superior and subordinates avoid technical language language not be, not required for showing off language required to communicate to make the person understand feedback take feedback saying have they understood so that you can if required roll back accuracy what we say is correct clarity in message the message is clear purposeful well delivered communication of organizational philosophy where it may be to respect each other understand before we are understood flat organization structure easy to communicate division of labor so that each one knows what has to be done organization policies which will help in making proper communications minimize semantic problem which we already spoke about proper communication channels and the right feedback from time to time